like understand that you have a need as a human being to surround yourself with people because you're a social creature. Like if a sage doesn't need friends, but he still wants friends. Right. And so yeah. be within your community, but you don't necessarily have to uh, want everything that they want. You don't have to go after the things that they go after or speak how they speak. You just need to be there as a part of the community and hopefully your presence, if you're a good person, will be valuable to the community, right? Yeah, absolutely. And another virtue that Marcus Aurelius stresses a lot as well is um, toleration um, towards mm. other people. Um, yeah. Toleration towards people who are struggling and aren't doing as well. Um, so one of my favorite passages in um, the meditations is uh, um, the book two, chapter one, the opening passage, um, after he's paid his respects in book one, where he says, you know, when you wake up in the morning, remember that you're going to meet all sorts of people who are stroppy and aggressive and unpleasant. Um, so prepare yourself for that fact. But then yeah. he adds a further thought that's really important. He says, and also remind yourself that it's not their fault. None of these people have chosen to be like that. Mm. It's because they're in ignorance, because something's going wrong, because they're struggling or whatever it might be but no one chooses to be unpleasant in that way. It's because yeah. they're struggling. So show some compassion too. And I think that yeah. was really, and that second part I think is just as important as the first part. It's not 100%. just about, yeah. 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 Show compassion and, and just be the best person that you can be. And, and hopefully just by you being the best that you can be and being compassionate and caring, uh, that might even make their life a little bit easier. Right. And, um, 